coming. I'm coming. Oh, hello, Mr. Wilson. Hello, Rochester. How are you? Fine, thanks. Come on in. Mr. Benny here? No, he isn't. He went off a little while, but I expect him back soon. Oh. Well, uh, Roch, is Mr. Benny's car in the garage? You mean the Maxwell? No, Mr. Wilson. Matter of fact, that's why he isn't here. A man from the repair shop came over here and drove Mr. Benny and the Maxwell back to the shop. Oh, gosh, and the cameraman will be here any minute. The cameraman? Yeah, Roch, I'm having a cameraman come over to take some pictures of the Maxwell in connection with the promotion for State Farm Insurance. Oh, yeah, Mr. Benny's new sponsor. My, my, sure is excited about the show now that it's going on every week. That's right, a half hour every Sunday on CBS TV, 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. Did you want some pictures of Mr. Benny in the car? No, all right. Hey, maybe that's Jack now. Hello, I'm Flash Nelson. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, you're the photographer. Well, uh, Mr. Benny's using the car right now. And... Oh, darn. Well, shall I wait or... Good grief, what's that? That's Mr. Benny's favorite charity. <laughs> oh, good, he's here. Say, uh, let's go out and have him park it in the driveway so we can get some good shots. Hi, Jack. Hello, Don. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, pull on in and stop by the door. Okay. I could get over it. Over what? The boy left a newspaper in a driveway. Just park it here. <laughs> Hello, Jack. Something matter with the car? No, no, Don. I just had this garage man put something on it. I wish I could have put a bomb under it. Oh, don't be so smart. Yeah, Jack, I don't see anything. Oh, oh, yes, now I do. The three horns. Listen, Don. Don, Don, da, Don, Don. Gee, boss, that's the State Farm Insurance theme. That's right, Rochester. Mm -hmm. And don't those horns look classy on the Maxwell? Eh, it's like putting a shingle on a pup tent. <laughs> well, Jack, it's about State Farm that I came over to see you. This is uh, Flash Nelson, the photographer. Yeah, how do you do? Flash? Nelson? Photographer? Haven't I seen you before? It's possible. At night, I put on long black stockings and take pictures at zero. I thought I saw you. You not only saw me, you pinched me twice. I did not. Jack, we wanted a picture of the Maxwell. For the Smithsonian Institution, I'll bet. Now cut that out. What do you want the pictures for, Don? Well, the fellows at State Farm are having a promotion, a contest for the month of October in order to increase production among all the State Farm agents. Whoever qualifies by writing a certain number of new business applications will win. It's possible for every one of State Farm's 7,500 agents to win in this promotion. But what do they win, Don? They win a real miniature model of your Maxwell. And when you turn the crank on it, the model plays the State Farm theme music. In honor of you and your new State Farm show, they're calling it the Maxwell Award. And that's why we need the picture. Gee, that's wonderful. Tell me, um, hmm, Flash, is that color film you have? Hey, what do you care? We just want the picture of the Maxwell, not you, Blue Eyes. <laughs> oh. Well, all right, go ahead. Snap away. What do you think about all of this, Jack? I think it's just wonderful, Don. And we want to identify ourselves just as much as possible with State Farm. And I hope all the fellas will tie in locally as much as they can with our show. Jack, I just got the figures. Every week we'll be reaching between 10 and 11 million homes with the show. And over four weeks' time, that adds up to over 22 million different homes. So you know we're going to have a terrific impact on the insurance business in general. It's, it's really exciting. Oh, uh, I hear the motorcycle from the garage coming to take me back. Yes, yes. Well, goodbye. Uh, <clears throat> uh... I uh, hope you liked the wake I did on your car. It was all right. I mean sufficiently to, uh, uh a uh, gratuity. 
Well, for heaven's sakes, I paid the garage what I owed them. <laughs> oh, all right, all right, here you are. Oh, gee, thanks a lot. I'm gonna put this in my rare coin collection. Rare coin? It's only a nickel. I know, but you squeezed it so hard the Indian is riding the buffalo. <laughs> oh, go on. Well, I think I have all the pictures you want, Mr. Wilson. I'll be going now. Well, that's swell. And when you develop them, just send them on to Bloomington. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, boss, I better get in and get dinner going. Okay, Rochester. Don, can you come in? No, Jack, no, I've really got to get going, but thanks a lot. Don, now why don't you just send the check? Don't bother with it now. Check, Jack? Yes, the check for the model fee. Model fee? Yes, model fee. After all, you took the pictures of my car. I should get something for that. But, Jack, it's for your sponsor. Now, Don, you took a picture of my car, and I ought to get a few dollars. But, Jack! No buts. At least I should get some free insurance for the car. But, Jack, you can't for do that. Sake, I should get something. Your sponsor I don't you care. I mean, I... I... <laughs> As a member of the team that designs and produces State Farm advertising, I've been asked to discuss the development of your new State Farm musical theme and jingles. It all started with your State Farm emblem that you use in your print and TV advertising, or for your bumper stickers, on your windows, on roadside signs. Leading from this visual logotype of yours, we set out to design an audio logotype that could work with it in a case of television advertising and yet be a strong enough audio device to stand on its own for use in radio advertising, for instance. So we started with the idea of having a tuned car horn as a mechanical device to key the design. The horn relates to the automobile, which in turn relates to the bulk of what you sell, auto insurance. And by the very way the instrument would be played, we hope to devise a mnemonic, a memory aid, to recall the name State Farm Insurance every time it had be heard. So we played... You'll notice the plane was syllabic to conform with the syllables State Farm Insurance. Just like... All is recalled shave and a haircut two bits, so would this division of a musical phrase say State Farm Insurance. And yet we needed something else for greater flexibility in the extension of these notes into a fuller musical theme, and then into a complete singable song, which is all important to any good musical lyrical statement of advertising copy. So we got a three-note car horn, and after much experimentation with the lineup of the notes, arrived at this. And these three notes became the basis of all the rest of the music you'll hear on this record. Our current advertising campaign was based on a series of so-called think headlines. Think smart, think cagey, think thrifty. The words smart and cagey and so on were to be variable, and since their syllables could not be predetermined, we elected to have those commands, think smart, think cagey, think whatever, spoken lines free of any musical restriction. Thereafter, our copy would say, think of saving $10, $20, $30 or more on car insurance, four careful drivers, and then, as in song crafting, we revert to the title theme, Think, and finish with our logotype, State Farm Insurance, together with our new audio device. Well, here's how it all goes together. Think wise. Think of saving $10, $20, 30 or more on car insurance. For careful drivers, think State Farm Insurance. We formatted the music so that we would have the song in the beginning, then we would segue into descriptive instrumental music, which you're now hearing, for backing the full copy story or for backing dramatic situations in which we would act out the full story. 
And then we come back again with a restatement of the song. We come back to ask for the order. Think wise, think state, farm, insurance. The careful drivers, careful buyers, car insurance. Call state, farm, insurance. So there you have the theme, a sound and a set of notes and a way of playing the notes in syllables that will forever mean state farm insurance. For instance, in a show opening, a marquee or a billboard, we would sound like this. And in the area of pure musical listening pleasure, we have this jazz fugue and variations on a three-note car horn theme. Notice the full development of the theme picked up by first bass, carried on by electric guitar, and joined in on by all the other orchestral voices. Certainly a versatile set of notes that can be done in a variety of musical styles. For instance, a waltz, lilting, melodic, and notice at the end the Christmas theme played in counterpoint. Then we have this more sober alma mater rendition. <laughs> 